grime. It acts like sandpaper. So cleaning your bike not only makes it look better, but helps it run smoother too. Hi, I'm Jason with The Co-op, here to answer your question about how do I clean my bike? And it is important. It not only helps it look good, but all the little grit and grime you have, particularly in your drivetrain, while you're riding your bike, it's slowly wearing out those parts. So keeping it clear of grime, grime right here, is important. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to clean your bike so that it not only looks good, but runs smoothly between your tune-ups. The steps for this are apply degreaser to the drivetrain, wash the frame, wash the wheels, come back and scrub the entire drivetrain, and then re-lube your chain. The things you're gonna need is warm soapy water, and uh, I use a car wash, but you could get away with a detergent and a pinch if you want. People are worried about their paint jobs and detergent, so keep that in mind, but definitely warm water is gonna help cut through the grease. So warm and soapy water, plenty of it. You'll need a soft brush, and this is for washing your frame. You can also use a car washing mitt if you have one of those already. You don't need to buy a special brush for that, or a car washing sponge. That'll totally work if you have those things. Uh, but you do definitely want a harder bristled brush for kind of digging around and getting in the nooks and crannies. This is an important step of washing your bike, so uh, getting a little harder bristled brush uh, is helpful. And some people have used bottle brushes because they've got a bunch of bristles that are soft and you can jam them into a bunch of tight spaces. It's a pretty good deal. A really important step here is the degreaser. The degreaser, you're gonna to want to apply it. I have a special uh, applicator brush for applying the degreaser. Um, that's, you put that on your drivetrain, you let it sit, and then when you're done, we're gonna scrub it off so we have a harder bristle brush. Um, you could use a toothbrush, and old, don't use your toothbrush, but you want something that you can dig around and not worry about and, and get in between this, the gears in the back set and things like that. You'll of course rinse off your bike, um, so you need a water source and a towel to wipe it dry. Um, when you've got it all cleaned off, you're definitely gonna to wanna to re-lube the chain, and you'll want a rag to wipe off the excess, because not wiping off the excess tends to collect dirt, uh, and it's one of the reasons we're washing it in the first place. I just wanna note that I have a bike stand, and that's gonna make it a lot easier for me to take the wheels off, which is part of the procedure of being as thorough as we can. If you need to leave the wheels on and just lean your bike up, totally doable, or if you wanna flip it over uh, and take the wheels off with the frame upside down, you can do that too. That, that will allow you to get into those smaller, harder to reach areas, but a bike stand sure is nice if you have one. Applying the degreaser. I've got the degreaser here and a little container for it. And I'm just taking this brush and I'm just gonna paint this on all over the drivetrain, both back here in the rear cassette, up here on the front chain ring. If I had a front derailleur, I'd be doing it up there. I'm also gonna paint all the parts of the derailleur here. I've got a bunch of the degreaser applied to the whole drivetrain, both the front and the back. And I'm going to let that sit. That's an important step to get this started first and let that have time to work while you're washing the rest of the bike and the wheels before you come back and really give that a scrub. I've got the degreaser on. That part is a little bit simpler if you leave the wheels on while you do that, but now that I'm washing the rest of the bike, I'm gonna remove the wheels and then start with the soapy water. Wheels are off, time to start washing this thing with a soft brush or the mitt and the warm sudsy water. You want to also attack parts that you don't normally think about underneath the, the bottom bracket. Remember this bike has disc brakes. So while the rotor, the wheel's not in, the rotor's not between the calipers. So we definitely don't want to press on the brake levers because it'll compress the, the brake pads and we won't be able to get those open. Um, so beware of that. Meanwhile, you can totally see where I can get to places on this bike, like in here, that I can't get to when my wheels are on. Things like the backside of your crank arms. I've gone over the whole thing with the soft brush. Now I'm going to go over with the harder bristle brush to get into those nooks and crannies. A little preliminary brush scrub on the derailleur doesn't hurt. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm gonna rinse now. While I rinse, notice I'm not using a lot of pressure. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't wanna use that much pressure. While I rinse, notice I'm not using a lot of pressure. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. And as a matter of fact, 
You don't want to use a pressure spray or a high pressure because it can work its way into some of the bearings on the bike and that's not good for your lubrication. So um, definitely just a, just a light showering is all it really takes to rinse off the bike. And in a pinch, if you don't have a hose and you're out somewhere else, you can literally use a water bottle and spray this thing with a water bottle. You could be doing this. That, that is enough pressure. I'm here at the wheels, so I'm back to the soft brush in the hot sudsy water. I'm gonna make sure I'm getting in here and getting the rim as well. I'll do a pass over all the spokes. Before I move on to the next wheel, I'm gonna use the scrubby brush to get in around the hub. Notice when I set these things down, I'm putting them off to the side. I don't wanna rest anything on that brake rotor. This is, this is delicate, you don't wanna bend it. When you're setting this thing down, you're setting it away and leaning it up so that this rotor is not gonna come in contact and get rested on anything. Back to the soft brush. Hard brush on the hub. Okay, before I rinse this off, I'm actually gonna start on part of the drivetrain, part of the scrubbing of the drivetrain because it's right here. This has got decreaser, it's been sitting on there for a while, so now it's the time to actually start scrubbing it off. I'm gonna use the hard bristle brush at first. But really get in there with your toothbrush or your hard bristle brush. And then a rinse, let's rinse these. Now the rest of the drivetrain with the small hard scrubby brush and we'll start with the rear derailleur. That degreaser has really had a chance to work and things are, things are coming off quite nicely. We'll move up to the chain rings and the front derailleur if you have one. I've got the entire drivetrain totally scrubbed front and back, and the rear cassette on the rear wheel. I'm gonna put it all back together and give the drivetrain one more thorough rinsing because you get to the chain lube step. If you don't have all the degreaser off that, you're kind of defeating the purpose of putting the chain lube on. You're working against your chain lube. So you definitely wanna give it a rinse. I'm just gonna put the bike back together and then give it a rinse so I can just do it all in one compact spot. Give it that last rinse. This is where I can towel dry the bike, what hasn't already dried. It's a warm day out here, so a lot of it's dry, but I can just work over the whole thing, drying it off. The last step is gonna be putting lubricant back on the chain. This is an important step. Uh, you don't wanna to put too much, so go slowly and then we'll wipe it off after we're done. I do it right back here on the rear cog so I can spin the cranks without having any, any interference from my hand while I'm trying to do it in a spot on the chain. Like I said before, you don't want too much lubricant on your chain because that's just gonna pick up dirt while you're riding. So once you get it lubed, I'm gonna go ahead and run that through a rag. I'm gonna use that rag to pull off the excess so that grime doesn't build up because that was the point of this whole exercise. Here it is, a clean bike with a clean drivetrain ready to go. If you found this video helpful, please like it below. If you want more information and content like this, please subscribe to our channel. If you have other questions or comments or things that I might have missed and you wanna add them down below because that's always helpful for viewers, please do so and we will see you out there as soon as possible.